Hey, hi. Uh, my name is Vinesh Shrinivasan and this is my submission for Challenge 1 Flash Memory Programming. Uh, this is my goal and I have taken uh, an array based approach to program all 32 sectors of the uh, flash memory. Uh, I have chosen to program 1.8 KB of bank 1 and sector address is the variable, uh, is the array that is going to store the starting address of each of the sectors that are in bank 1. I have all uh, sector 0 to 32 starting addresses listed here. Current address is another variable which is going to store the current sector that is being processed. Um, the minute counter variable uh, ensures that there is a delay of at least one minute between consecutive flash memory writes. This is my port initialization function. Uh, as you can see here, I have made the uh, P10 bit as output, which is my red LED. Uh, my P14 bit as an input, which is the S2 switch. P2 first bit as an output, which is my green LED. This is my one second delay loop. Uh, I am using a clock of 3 MHz. So, with the help of event counter, on a trial and error basis, I found out the number of iterations that is needed in order to arrive at the one second delay. And this is my main function. And as you can see here, I am initializing my ports first and then I am stopping the watchdog timer. So, this is where my board actually comes out of reset. So, I turn the LED, red LED on here for a second here and then turn it off again. Now, I have the input buffer stored with my input data value ready here. Here is where I actually set my WT counter value to an one second expiration. Uh, this is my uh, outer loop, my while of one loop. Here I set the starting address, uh, my current sector address as 0, 0 indicating the 0th position of my array which is uh, 0 x 20,000, the sector 0 of bank 1. Once I set my current sector address, I reset the uh, counter one more time here just to make sure that uh, my watchdog timer is not expiring before I even I start writing my sectors. And every time I do this I also make sure that the switch S2 is not pressed um, which has to uh, time out my watchdog and cause a reset. So this is an infinite loop which is responsible um, to time out the watchdog timer in case of uh, S2 button being pressed. So here I am unprotecting all the sectors that I am going to write. Once I am done with the unprotection, uh, this is my inner loop which actually writes each of the sectors iteratively. So here I have set the current address to be less than 32 um, which is the exit condition. And for this I first erase my current sector. Um, in this function before programming it again here. Um, once my programming is completed, I reset my watchdog counter again with a one second expiration and I increment my current sector address to the next address. So I go over this again and again until I program all my 32 sectors here. So once the process is done, I am resetting my watchdog counter timer here again and making sure that all the sectors are protected here. So once the process is completed, I go ahead and toggle my green LED um, here for a second before turning it off here. Here is a delay loop which satisfies the requirement that a consecutive flash memory program should have a one minute delay in between them. So the minute counter uh, is responsible to satisfy that constraint. Here again I use the event counter and uh, on a trial and error basis I arrived at this value uh, which I figured out that um, is needed in order to ensure that consecutive writes don't happen within one minute. So this is just a one second iteration loop that is going to uh, wait until the one minute mark is reached before going to the while of one loop to start the programming all over again. Now let me build the code.
I'm getting into the debug mode now. Here I have the uh, memory that is about to be written. So just, this just to show that uh, the memory locations are not yet written in the show and value of SFS. And here I also have the set of registers that we are about to monitor. Let me go ahead and run the program now. Here I have set a breakpoint um, in my reset code uh, just when my red LED is on. So as you can see the 0 bit of P1 is now switched on. And now if I go ahead and run the program again, now it should now turn back to 0. As you can see this gone 0 now indicating that um, the reset process is done. Now if I run it back again, it um, goes into programming mode. And the programs all try to set as iteratively. Um, once the process is done, uh, which we saw here in the inner loop here, my green LED should be on, which is the first bit of P2. So the programming is completed, and as you can see, the first bit of P2 is on now. Now Let's go out of the breakpoint. Now the green LED is turned off again. First bit of P2 is now 0. And now if I run it back again, the program again goes into this 1 second delay loop where it waits until the 1 minute mark is reached before starting the process all over again. Let me pause it just for a second to show you the memory values here. As you can see, the um, memory is programmed with the input value this jump is the sector 32 just to show that all the sectors 0 to 32 has been written now hey hi um, now my code is loaded onto the board and um, so I am pressing the reset now as you can see the red LED blinks for one second and now the program is in uh, running into the flash memory programming mode where it um, programs all the sectors 0 through 32 So when the programming phase is done, we expect the green LED to, to come up. So the green LED comes up for one second now and it has to wait for one more minute in order to um, go into the writing mode one more time. So this is the part where I have inserted the um, delay loop which makes sure that uh, the next trade doesn't happen um, before the one minute mark is up so I'm just waiting here to make sure that there is a gap of one minute between two consecutive green LEDs Yep, now there is the screen LED one more time now. So now I am demonstrating the switch S2. So whenever I press the switch S2, you can see that the program is in reset stage because I am holding the watchdog counter. So the red LED comes one second now when I leave it again. Now it goes back into the programming mode and now it again goes and starts to program the um, flash memory again. So now that I have reset it, it will again go and it's now programming my flash memory again. And there is the green light one more time for you. Now this is my submission for uh, uh, 
uh, challenge one flash memory programming my name is vinesh rinivasan thanks for watching